Russian figure skater Evgenia Medvedeva pleaded with the International Olympic Committee Executive Board on Tuesday to reconsider its ban of Russia at the 2018 Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea. The 18-year-old two-time world champion argued to the IOC that the ban unfairly affects athletes who were not involved with Olympic teams in 2014, when the Russian sports ministry helped fuel a state-backed doping program. In 2014, I was 14 years old, Medvedeva said, via ICE Network. I have not even entered the adult national team of my country. For me personally, Pyeongchang should be the first chance to plunge into the unique atmosphere of the Olympic Games. I do not understand why I and my Russian teammates can lose this chance. Medvedeva also said that she can't accept competing for a neutral flag. The IOC on Tuesday said some qualifying Russian athletes who have passed several drug tests will be allowed to compete at the IOC's discretion, but they will do so in neutral uniforms. I cannot accept the option that I would compete in the Olympic Games without the Russian flag as a neutral athlete, Medvedeva said. I am proud of my country, it is a great honor for me to represent it at the Games. It gives strength and inspires me during the performances. Medvedeva one of Bai's 50 most dominant athletes, remains unbeaten in international competition and was considered a gold medal favorite for the 2018 Olympics. Everyone has dreams, and you probably already had a chance to fulfill your own. Let me do the same. Medvedeva said. I do not know if there will be other games in my sports life after Pyeongchang. Here is her full statement, via ICE Network. Dear President, Dear Members of the Executive Committee, I am honored to be here today. Thank you for the opportunity to address you on behalf of Russian athletes. I have until the last moment tried not to pay attention to the negative news related to Russian sports. I thought that we, the clean Russian athletes, had nothing to worry about. If someone really committed anti-doping rule violations, we certainly do not have anything to do with this. In 2014, I was 14 years old. I have not even entered the adult national team of my country. For me personally, Pyeongchang should be the first chance to plunge into the unique atmosphere of the Olympic Games. I do not understand why I and my Russian teammates can lose this chance. I took part in many different tournaments and I'm terribly proud of my two world title titles. But the Olympics is a dream. Everyone has dreams, and you probably already had a chance to fulfill your own. Let me do the same. I do not know if there will be other games in my sports life after Pyeongchang. I always believed that the opportunity to compete at the Olympics should be fought on the ice. Unfortunately, now I understand that I can lose this chance because of circumstances that do not depend on me in any way. I cannot accept the option that I would compete in the Olympic Games without the Russian flag as a neutral athlete. I am proud of my country, it is a great honor for me to represent it at the Games. It gives strength and inspires me during the performances. In addition, for me both personal and team tournaments are equally important at the Olympics. If I perform without a national flag, I will not be able to compete in the team. At the same time, my other rivals will have this opportunity. The Olympic Charter states that all athletes should have equal opportunities. And in this case there can be no question of equality. Dear members of the Executive Committee, I promise you that if I play at the Olympics in Pyeongchang, I will do my best not to disappoint you and adequately represent your country and the Olympic movement as a whole. Thank you for attention.